So that volume was just rubbish. I need a lot more output. Let's see what we have available. What I found in my bag of goodies. It is the LM386, which is a dedicated audio amplifier. And I think this can give us an output power of approximately 750 millivolts, I think. So let's build this circuit up to amplify the voltage signals and hopefully get a bit more volume. So the audio amplifier that I found is the LM386 class AB audio amplifier, which I think is a very common part. So what I will be doing for this is building the typical application circuit. So obviously I have the non-inverting input and the inverting input on this with power supply rails, which can be from 5 volts to 12 volts. On the output, we have a capacitor with a value of 250 microfarads. This then goes to the speaker. which in my case is 4 ohms. Before this AC pass filter, we also have another filter with a capacitor and a series resistor. The series resistor value is 10 ohms and the capacitor value is 50 nanofarads. The inverting input is tied to ground and the non-inverting input can be connected directly to our audio output, which is from the instrument that you saw earlier, or it can go through a potential divider, which is what I'm going to do over here, just to make sure I don't damage my speakers or anything. This is no great drawing like great Scott, but it should do the job. I am not going to setting the gains, which there are some additional pins over here, which can help you set the gain. I'm going to just go with the gain of 20 for now and I'll see if I can improve the volume from my instrument. So let's build this circuit. Next I'm going to connect up the power supply rails. So I've got positive rail there, negative rail over here and obviously I've color coded that in red and black. Next is my LM386 port number, which the input terminal is on pin 3, so that's over here. So I've got plus 12 volts, audio in and ground. The audio in is connected to LM386, pin 4 connects to ground. So obviously I've put my components here as a reference, but what I'm going to do is mark off the connections that I have made. So this connection's done, this connection is done, this connection's done, this connection is now done to ground. So next I need to connect the inverting terminal, which is on pin two to ground as well. So this connection is finished. The output terminal, which is on 5, goes to 200 microfarad capacitors. Um, this is the closest value I can get to what the requirement is. Hopefully the audio signal will be okay. And then obviously that goes to our speaker. Pin 5 also has another connection, which goes to a small value capacitor. So the closest value I have is 100 nanofarads. Hopefully that's not too much of an issue. If I was doing this properly, then I would want to get the right values, but they're not always available for what I have to hand. Basically what we have done now is this connection here, we have a 100 nanofarad capacitor to a 10 ohm resistor to ground basically over here. So these connections are made. Then we have this connection here from pin five to two 100 microfarad capacitors in parallel. So we have basically 200 microfarads. And then that goes to basically this yellow wire here, which is the output. Finally, that will connect to the speaker. So the only thing left to do now is connect up this node, which is the power supply. 
and that is on pin 6 which is over here so we have this connection now so i have this power supply and i'll be basically making these two connections to the power supply over here on this board so i have a 50 millivolt input signal on this and i am getting an output signal of 318 millivolts so let's do the calculation on what gain i'm getting but i think the circuit is working unfortunately i only have one bnc lead so i'm not able to record the waveforms coming in and out let's now connect the circuit to the speaker and the instrument to see how it works So that did not work as I expected. This is the circuit that I was recreating. Obviously I did not have all the values that I needed. So I had a 200 microfarad capacitor there and I had a 100 nanofarad capacitor over here. So you see the low pass filtering on that will be a little bit higher. Did not get very much amplification at all, which is something I need to figure out. If you have any ideas, please let me know below. I tried a few different ICs as well. Um, the response was different depending on the IC. So maybe I just got a bad batch of LM386 parts because they're not original parts from Texas Instrument anyway. Um, these parts are very commonly cloned. So maybe I just got some very cheap parts. However, I really do want to make this project. So stay tuned for a audio amplifier project. Thank you for watching today and if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section below or if you have any suggestions for this circuit i have the breadboard still built up so i can make modifications to this thanks a lot and see you next time as we will be building a class d amplifier but we will do it properly not using breadboards